So, I haven't even said hello to you guys. Hello, welcome to the channel, welcome back. Um, we're moving, I'm packing, we're moving literally tomorrow, and the baby is behind me. Hello, Mr. Man. Um, I was gonna say something to you and I totally forgot. I am packing like all the last minute things, oh, that's what I was trying to say. I'm packing all the last minute things and I can't cook anything anymore, like that's it. I have to pack everything away. Michael is gonna get me Subway right now. It is Thursday. He is coming home from work for lunch. And yeah, the baby had a terrible, terrible nap earlier. Um, only a 30 minute for the first nap of the day, which was rough. Um, hopefully he has a good second nap so that I can get more things done but I am slightly stressed out because I really haven't been packing all week um we packed this last weekend and we got like the majority of the things done but like I couldn't pack all the last minute things because I still had to cook during the week so okay so I just finished the two boxes I was working on earlier I got one here oh I actually I, th I did three boxes I got two here and then one over there and you guys, it really just feels like it never ends. I got most of the stuff out of here, but then like all the canned stuff that I'm like worried about or the jarred stuff, I mean, that I'm worried about, um, like breaking and getting on stuff. And that would just be such a freaking mess when I unbox that. So I like, I don't know what else to do because it just feels like it's never ending. I'm so stressed out. We moved here, the military moved you. Like the military literally packs up all of your things in like one day and they move you themselves. Like you don't have to pack anything if you don't want to. Yesterday we saw the house for the first time ever, like ever. We've seen it previously only in videos, which look really great. You know, in videos, everything looks so freaking good, right? But, we got to the house and like, we didn't really love it. So let me try and like sit down and tell you guys what happened yesterday. We got to see the house for the very first time. We've only seen it in video. It looked like the best option compared to everything else. So we are going with Navy housing. My camera died. It's been a few hours later. Um, I don't even really remember what I was saying, but Colin is super, super fussy today. I don't know if he's teething or what's going on. His naps have been crap and he is just not having it, which is terrible because I am like scurrying around the house trying to pack up every single thing that I possibly can. Don't, I think I already said this, but you don't realize how much crap you have. You need to put your whole entire house in boxes. It's ridiculous, but I think what I was talking about earlier might've been that we, didn't think we were going to be moving. Michael and I made this decision in December, I want to say. Um, we wanted to move somewhere um, cheaper so that we can save a little bit of money. Really, it's not much, but it was worth it enough for us to pay for movers and boxes and this and that and pack up our whole house and move. So we're going to be saving a little bit of money um, each month and that's really great. But met with Navy Housing and we told them how much money we wanted to spend per month and they kind of gave us like a range. Um, a lot of the houses in Hawaii are so freaking dated. Um, I guess it's just because everything is so much money to ship new product over here, like to make everything like new and more modern looking. Everything here is just super dated. A lot of the houses are made from cinder block and you literally have like cinder block walls and I could not get past that, like having cinder block in my house and like feeling like I live in a jail cell. But yeah, so I just couldn't see us living in a really, really old dated cinder block house. Um, so we went with this option and it's, it's still dated. I mean like, what can you do? This house is more updated and I think this house is pretty dated. I'm going to do a house tour tomorrow. Um, we saw the house for the first time yesterday and you know, they didn't want us to see it um, prior to all of this because of COVID. Going through videos when we met with a lady back in December and we were going through videos of which house we liked the best and we picked this one. 
um, now you can only go through videos of the house because of COVID you can't like go in and see any of the houses. So I chose this house. It seemed like the most dated or the most um, updated um, of all the rest of the Navy houses. And also um, it's super expensive here. So living off base, we'd have to pay for utilities on top of rent. So we were only able to see the house two days before moving in. Um, and we weren't really happy with it. Everything looks great on video, but in person, there was just a lot of like, ooh, that made me kind of just like, also you can't tell what the inside looks like, like how big it is, unless you're really, really there. So I don't, not sure if our couch is gonna fit. Um, the living area is a lot smaller, like, yeah, okay, we're, we're losing a bedroom, whatever, but like, this whole house is so much smaller, like, in the living parts you know what i mean like the kitchen is a 10 times smaller the living room and the dining room is like so tiny the laundry room is so tiny like i have a designated room for everything in this house and our new house is like very crammed together there's an outdoor kind of like an outdoor area technically it's just an unfinished room um the floor is just concrete and um there's like a screen door that goes outside. I wanted to put Colin outside in the little area. You'll see, it sounds crazy. You'll see what I'm talking about. The door that leads all the way outside is not like sealed and um, it's a screen door. So like heat is gonna be coming in. So it's gonna be hot in there. All in all, we weren't very happy with the house. And I know that our backs are against the wall because we're, ne we're never gonna find anything in such a short amount of time. And also, we were thinking, oh, what if we cancel the move and see if our base has any other homes available, but because we're already residents, we'd have to do move over forms and then a walkthrough and then we can see if they have anything in our price range um, that we would even like. So if we couldn't find anything in base or off base, um, we would lose the house that we're gonna be moving into tomorrow. Um, it's just like a close call and everything's kind of like short notice. I wish that we were able to see the house way before we made all these plans, but we made all these plans and we're moving. Um, and basically we just like have no other choice but to move into this house. Yeah, we, we are moving. We thought we weren't gonna move yesterday. I told Michael like five times, I was like, you know what, babe? Maybe we shouldn't do it. It just doesn't feel right. I walked into the home and it just didn't feel like mine. Like, you know, when you walk into a home and you can see yourself living there, like in all your stuff and you can see your life there. I just couldn't see it there. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, we're moving anyway. So hopefully it'll feel more like home once we have everything there. Kind of messed up that we never got to see the house until two days before moving in. We haven't even signed the lease yet. So why couldn't we go and see the house back in December before we made all these plans to move? Like we just made all these plans to move based off of the video that we saw. And the video that we saw wasn't even our house. It was a completely different house. The house we have is blue, not the color that was in the video. And it's flipped. So you know a lot of like townhomes, um, they have two doors next to each other and then the house is the same exact layout, it's just flipped. So um, from the video, this house is also flipped. And yeah, but I don't know you guys. Let's hope it feels like home. We're just gonna have to see and yeah but i have been talking for a really long time <laughs> give me a kiss give me a kiss you're crazy look at him go crazy look at his feet look at those legs <laughs> what the heck go crazy go crazy go crazy <laughs> So sweet baby no <laughs> he'll do this thing where if he's like holding my hand he'll like sneakily there we go. 
to like sneakily take my hand and like, <laughs> like try and attack it. Sneak attack my hand, huh? You just want to eat everything. What's that not doing? Today is moving day, you guys. I'm so stressed out. Colin is having the time of his life. He woke up in the best mood, so that is great, but I feel like it's going to slowly go downhill from here just because he's not gonna have his room. He's not gonna have blackout curtains to help him sleep. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be hectic, but we can get his first nap in here without any disturbances um, before the movers come, so that's really exciting. Michael just went to go and get the key and um, breakfast for us, and I think we might pack up my car and maybe, maybe, I will take a few things over there. I don't know. We just have to see how the baby's nap goes. The house is such a mess, and I have a few like last minute things to pack. Like all of this crap. Yeah. He's got drool all over his shirt. <laughs> We're not really too worried about moving everything out of the house today. Obviously the movers are gonna take the boxes and the major like furniture. Um, but like the little things like the cleaning supplies and all of that, I am not too worried about. We have the house until next Wednesday. Today's Friday. We have to come back here and I'll have to do laundry and clean this house. Um, today I'm going to focus on cleaning the other house and unpacking a little bit. Yeah, I would love to get out there and film the empty house tour for you guys because that would be great. But it all just depends on his nap. We'll have the same. Okay, you guys, I am officially in the house. The last update you saw was a couple of hours ago. The baby is looking at me like, who are you talking to? The last update you guys saw was quite a while ago. Um, I am in the house and I, I already filmed um, an empty house tour, so that'll be out next. And I have all of Colin's crap down here. Um, his first nap did not go well at all. He slept for 30 minutes and so far he's had two more naps just for me like driving around the car back and forth. Um, and yeah, they are probably about 10 minute naps. So I don't know what to do with him, but we'll see how today goes. He seems not in the worst mood. He could be worse. He's been chilling. And yeah, so the movers should be here within hopefully the next hour or so. Um, I stopped and got Michael and I some food, ate, and the house was like not even like done yet. And they've been here for four hours already. But um, I am going to make some way down here so that they can put all our stuff in here. I'm gonna go set up Colin's room and stuff, but I'm super excited. Our washer and dryer is scheduled to come tomorrow, so I'm really, really excited about that. Guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. I totally meant to record the movers moving, but like, that's kind of boring. You know, Michael's calling. Hello? The movers came with a small truck. I don't know why. We told them we were gonna be moving a three bedroom house. I don't know why they came with a tiny little box truck that we could have rented um, from U-Haul, but Michael's saying that he doesn't think all the stuff is gonna fit in there. And there's three guys moving us and one of them is delegating. One of them's moving all the stuff and the other one is organizing the van so that they can fit as much as they possibly can in there. I guess as long as they take like the major things, I don't really care, but apparently we're gonna have to rent a freaking U-Haul because they can't fit everything in the van and we are not going to pay extra hours for them to drop everything off here and then go back to the house and it would just be cheaper for us to get a U-Haul. So that is what is going on right now. What can you do? Um, and yeah, I think I'm actually going to leave this video here, you guys. It's pretty boring. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already. Subscribe if you would like to see the house tour. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.